Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPV Nuts video series on C++ and today's topic is Template Specialization in C++. So before this you should be knowing what is template in C++ then only you watch this video otherwise you go ahead and watch my template videos then you come back and watch this one. So let's start this video. So the first point for template specialization says that sometimes we have to specialize template for particular data type. What do I mean by that? So we all know why we write template right? It is used for generic programming. Let's suppose you want to do some operation and it is independent of the data type you want to work with. So you will create one function or one class and that particular function or class will work with all the data types. But this is not true in all the cases. Let's suppose your template will work for two or three data types but it is not working for the fourth one. So what to do in that case? So this full topic is for that purpose. I'll repeat this again. There is a scenario that your template function or class is working for two or three data types but it is not working for the fourth data type. Then what to do? So for that I have taken this requirement which is add all the elements in the vector. So this is the requirement. So spelling is not correct. Okay. So we'll be adding whatever is there in the vector. So vector can contain integer, double, character. Or anything so when the requirement came it was like we'll be working on integral data types only or at least the data types what you can add like you can add integer flow doubles and characters with each other right so let's implement that first then we will see where you will use specialize okay so what I mean to say is let's suppose you are having one vector here so this is your vector of integers and let's have another vector of double zero and like this everything with zero okay so this is integer list and this is double list okay so we want the functionality regardless of what type it is we just want whatever is there in the vector i want addition of all that okay so let's create that function so let's check whether this is working or not so let's write this C out and call this function add all with integer vector first so vector of integer and another time we'll call the same function with vector of double it should work in both the cases okay so let me save this we'll compile this okay this template is misspelled template sorry for that and compile this again okay oh yeah maybe i forgot this vector here i know you might be shouting from your end but i was not listening compile again okay another problem wow what is this okay actually i have solved it the problem was i was not selecting this proper compiler here before I was selecting this C++ single file which is not configured well. So this C++ 11, if I'll compile this, it will give you 21 and 21. So as you can see that our code is working for both type of the vector. One contains integer, another contains double here, okay? So we are fine, we don't have any problem here. So now let's come to the actual point here. The point was, what if you have some data type which you cannot add directly like this actually you can add but you want some special behavior for some particular data type what i mean to say is let's suppose you are having some vector of a string let me just copy paste that okay so there are three string in this vector this is vector string and whenever you have a vector of string you don't want this behavior you want some another behavior and that behavior is Ultimately, you want to get the ASCII value of each and every character added. Okay, so you want the addition of each and every character's ASCII value. So this is what you want. So as you can see that you cannot achieve that with this function. So you have to create another function, but not with the different name. You wanted to have the consistency. So you will create add all function only and that too with template type. So that is what specialized template means. For some special 
data type you will create another function with the same name and same stuff okay but you want different behavior that's why you are creating different function you will get to know that in some time so let me just write that quickly okay so this is the behavior what i did i created add all function as this was similar to this one and instead of getting some type this type is totally empty it means that i have specialized this particular function for this particular data type before this t was integer in case of this vector integer and double in case of vector of double but i wanted special behavior that's why i used this different function because i wanted something else to do with my elements okay and notice this if you are specializing this function then your function's signature should look exactly similar i mean when you are using string here then here it should be string okay because when you are using t here your return type is also t okay so when your input type is a string your output type should be string otherwise it won't be specialized it will give you error that i'm not able to find the function for which you are specializing me okay it will say that i am not able to find that particular template here i mean there is a template mismatch or in other words you can say that this function will work will with most of the data types but there is some special data type i want to be handled a little differently so this is the function for that and this is also a template function okay so let's see how it is working so as you know that this is a new type of for and what i'm doing is i'm iterating over my list which is containing all these elements so first time i will get this abc inside this element and on that element i am again iterating so that i can get a b and c separately okay so a will come inside this char and whatever is there will get added i mean the ascii will get added and i am maintaining a count with integer type so once this for loop will be over we'll be having the count which will be the addition of all the characters ascii value okay now the point is i cannot just simply return this count because this count is of integer type i have to convert this count into a string so what i did i created this o string stream i inserted that count inside that and then i am converting that o stream into string and this is the string and now i am returning that string count so this contains actually this integer count value but in string format so that i can just simply return that okay so let's see the calling of this one so c out add all and this time we will send vector of a string okay and let's compile this wow okay it is saying that i just forgot maybe the header part here yeah the header for this is hash include s stream let's compile this again okay now you got this 8 9 and 1 okay if you are not sure that whether it is really adding all the characters in the string let's reduce the size of the string so only just adding a and b will give you 97 plus 98 okay so let's compile that okay 195 so 197 plus 198 is 195 correct so you saw that your function i mean this template function was working with these two data type but after some time there was a need that you have to create a vector of string also and you have to give the same functionality but with little different meaning okay so that's why you created another function of your template function which is the specialization of this function i mean you have specialized for this particular data type okay i think the purpose of this video is clear now and yeah we can specialize both function and class templates so as i have created this function which is specialized for string data type here you can create another class specialized i mean which is specialized for some different data type okay so that is 
kind of a homework for you. Thanks for watching and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any doubt please comment I'll be very happy to answer your comments. Thanks for watching I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye.